It was a decision that took police over 24 hours to make that Adam Suleiman Kalunji was allowed to break the silence about what he knew about the death of MP Serena Nebanda. He looked calm and composed and the press waited in anticipation. He broke the silence adding value to suspicions that has already been in the public that Nebanda had taken heroin. Because she, she used to do cocaine so I think she mistakenly did heroin thinking it's cocaine. But what exactly happened on that fateful day? We woke up a bit late, like around 11. She rushed. Uh, she said she was rushing to meet the brother to pick a passport and uh, take it to the embassy. And yeah, I also woke up uh, to f meet up with the, the land surveyor. We were all separated, so on my way home, I picked some food. Went home, by the time I got home, I found um, Serena seated down on the carpet, and uh, she had already sniffed uh, the heroine that was there. Kalunji said he dumped Neba under Tunsambia General Clinic and fled the country. I was in a state of shock. It was my first time to experience this and being a, a legislator, I thought the government would do anything. It was not ready to face anybody in that state. I didn't know what to do. Got transport. I hitched lift. Uh, towards Jinja, then uh, I got another lift on a truck. Passed by Malaba, down to Bungoma, then I got a bus to Nairobi. Kalunji has already recorded an extrajudicial statement with a judge confessing to have administered drugs to MP Nebanda. On Monday 7th, police will sanction his file to the state attorney for legal advice, who will then prefer charges before Kalunji is produced in court. But Kalunji sounds apologetic. I, I say I'm really sorry for what happened. It was not for my own liking. She was my girlfriend and we had good times and we had future plans. According to police, his arrest and confession are a major breakthrough in the investigations on the death of Nebanda. Stella Nabakosa, WBS-TV, Chileka.